Split Jerk. With the barbell resting in front of the shoulders with a firm grip on it and the body weight pressure stays in the middle of the feet with the feet hip width apart and the toes slightly out, we are in our ready position. Quickly dip the body down and press the bar up as we are sliding the feet in front and back and then pushing back with the front leg and back leg to come back to the neutral spot. Keep the knees in line with the toes as we dip and the body as upright as possible. And as we are absorbing the body weight here, make sure that the body weight stays in the, or the pressure stays in the middle of the front leg here and that the leg not only go in front and back but slightly out to the side. And if the front toe slightly points inward, that's okay, that tends to signify a little bit better stability with the front leg. The core and the upper body must maintain tension, especially when we are catching the bar over the head. So always maintain a long neck as well and the tension until the legs are back into a neutral position and then guide the bar back. Now, if we don't step with the front leg back leg and we just tend to step with the back leg in to neutralize with the front leg, well, as you can see here, you end up traveling forward and that is one of the most common mistakes with the split jerk that we are not synchronizing the feet here. So make sure you're always stepping back with the front leg then the back leg, otherwise you'll end up traveling forward.